Hello YouTube, it is Kamar aka Brave Design 86 on YouTube and Instagram and today I'm just gonna talk about the pros and cons of having this thing right here a big beard so stay tuned <laughs> Okay, so let me just get straight to it. So a little bit of backstory to how this whole beer thing came along. When I was about nine years nine years old or ten or thereabout, I remember praying that I would have a full beard, like like my dad, and I wanted body here too, because I always thought that was something really attractive and I'm like, I wanna have that, like I wanna have that. And I did get it, didn't get much on my arms though, but it's all here. Anyway, um, uh, during high school, I, I tried my best to um, highlight the little bit of facial hair I had. Um, and I started growing facial hair when I was about mm, 16, 17. I mean, it was always there, but it started to come in thick when I was about 16 or 17. Um, between 20 and 25, I started doing this weird little thing where I had like a little cir circular um, goatee and a little thin mustache um, and sideburns were like really long. Um, by the time I got to about 27, that's when I started this whole beard journey thing. And back then when I look back on pictures, I didn't really have a whole lot, but to people that didn't, you know, the people that knew me thought that was a lot. So I can only imagine what they think now but um, I started doing all kinds of stuff I wanted the Philly beard so what I started doing like I would walk around and comb my beard every day and I had no mustache like I shaved my mustache and then I didn't really like that look after a while so then I went ahead and I started like trying all kind of products in my beard so with a curly beard I didn't want to have to be heating my my beard every day so I relaxed my beard like I did a whole perm that was a hot mess because then the hairs got damaged they got brown then um, I went ahead and I started using like a water-based uh, moisturizer which worked the only problem is because I had to keep my beard wet all the time the hairs would rot so like you're combing them and they're just breaking and splitting all the way to the root it was a mess but the hair looked healthy the only problem is the moment you wash out that out like wash out the moisturizer to wash it the hairs just start falling apart then i decided that i was gonna um use that and use coconut oil i may have said in another video how i came to this whole concoction but then i i was i was doing i was going to a bunch of stuff in 2018 like i was going to a lot of functions and so i had to keep heating my beard a lot and i was like you know what if it falls out i'm fine with it i'm just gonna go ahead and use the water base and the coconut oil and i i realized i stopped getting breakage but anyway, I'm gonna go straight to it. What are the advantages and disadvantages of having a big beard? So I'm gonna go straight for the advantages, of course, because you gotta be positive. Um, so straight for positive. Number one, you become a showstopper. When you have like this length, it is gonna draw attention. You're and for me, I like attention, but I don't like it. So it can be a problem. I remember one time I was walking with my friend in the mall. And there was this little kid kept staring at me and his daddy was coming close to me and I was like and my friend was like he's literally admiring your beard and you're like fleeing at the sight of nothing you know and he's like oh I used to have a beard like that and I'm like okay thanks I guess um, or when I go out and there are all these women they're like oh my god your beard is so beautiful I'm trying to get my husband to grow his and whatever and I'm like compliment um this may be a pretty can be a pro and a con but i've been on dates already where the other person especially if they just met me they're kind of getting annoyed because like every second person either wants to know how i grew it how long i've been growing it telling me it's a great beard people from across the street trying to can't get my attention it's like nice beard um and sometimes they get annoyed sometimes they're intrigued but i think that's a pro because i love attention i'm gonna tell you that i love attention and this is a, a showstopper um the third thing is you get people that want you to try their products i've had a few of them and i will say the second product was decent the only problem was it was like a little a little bit of product and i use a lot <laughs> Um, I should have brought the coconut oil I bring down, but I use like a half a gallon in two months coconut oil. I moisturize twice a day, sometimes three, depending on where I'm going. So it's, I use a lot. Like I want to be dripping 
with coconut oil before I'm satisfied. Um, by the way, I have it out because I'm trying to air it out and trying to, you know, it, I thinned it out earlier. It's just not straight because if it's straightened, then it goes all the way down here. Um, my next pro is it's almost like ma I call it man's makeup because I'm able to change my look up with my beard you know there's not a whole lot I can do but there's a bit I can do so if I want to slim my face I shave the sides off like really close and do a high and tight if I want to I don't know give my face a more rounded look I tie it put it under blow dry it so it stays and then comb the sides out so give me that nice round look if I want a super skinny face then I I kind of straighten it down fold it it almost make it squared but it's like completely like down like this so you can see when you do this it's kind of already creating the illusion that I have a straighter face so it's almost like men's makeup for me it, it distracts from imperfections which I don't really know what mine is I think they cheat so I don't really like them because um, they're high and more weight I gain is the you know that effect but to me it's man's makeup um, Another thing too, at least for me, it attracts a lot of middle-aged women, like a lot of middle-aged women. I mean, you have no idea. I'm not exaggerating. It attracts a lot of middle-aged women, and I'm just there feeling like a little child, and they're like, oh my god, so hot. I'm like, thank you, I guess. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, so that's another pro, um, but for me, the main one is... It gives me something to do and it teaches me patience. It teaches me patience. I've gone through so many um, products and methods and stuff and finally came up with one. Um, but one of my bigger ones is that people send me products. I've gotten quite a bit of them. The first one, as I was saying, it, it caused me to have breakouts. And I don't remember what brand, but it was bad. It was really awful. Um, and of course, as I said, it, it, you, you become more versatile with your look. At least if you care to work on your beard because if you just leave it alone then you're not going to have too much versatility of doing anything you're always going to just have that beard sitting there um but you know to me it's a there are a lot of pluses to it um but when it comes to the cons there are also quite a bit so number one men will never leave you in peace about beard products i say this to people all the time Products help you with retention, sheen, um, and the overall quality of your beard. Beard products cannot let you grow a beard. That's not how it works. A lot, mine is like this because I have a very good retention routine. And it keeps my beard, I keep my beard in a protective style. It could have been a lot longer if I didn't manipulate it a lot. Because when I get stressed out, I tend to, you know, go through. Um, and it's hard to stop. But products will not let you grow anything it will let you retain it will let your your fault you know your each shaft become a little smoother and thicker and look more healthy um next con is if you're fussy and you don't have this length you're gonna end up being you know you're gonna be cutting all the time to make sure it's perfect but for me i did perfect i mean luckily i have this length where i can tight down and it looks perfect without me. I haven't cut my beard in maybe a year and a half, so I don't have to do that anymore. Three, um, <laughs> and it goes back to the product thing. You get a lot of people reaching out to you, and it kind of upsets me, to be honest. It upsets me. It's upsetting me and my homegirl. Um, for those who don't know where that came from. But... It's upsetting because I mean look at this there is no this guy I'm not disguising it nothing it's not even combed out right like it's a lot of beard this is a lot of beard for any man much less a man of African descent it is not usual I must be doing something right so why are you gonna send me products or try to sell me products I could get if someone sending me product because if it works for me they can either use me to say I use this product which is true because I did try it out or I can endorse it or I can tell another person about it yeah I tried this and it really worked for me you know I could do that you know be like yeah someone sent me this and this is this is popping it's real nice but you're now trying to sell me and then I look at your pictures some of them do have good beards but then they're white men and a lot of white men grow super long beards 
But then they're the ones with nothing or barely anything or short beard and they're like, oh, you should stop using what you're doing. Like this one guy was telling me that my water base was going to cause cancer, um, coconut oil is too heavy and it's going to weigh down my beard and my clothes going to get oily and I'm like, dude, number one, I love to weigh my beard down. I don't have straight beard, so I love to weigh it down. When I weigh it down, this is what I get, volume, I weigh it down. I don't have, I love weighing it down. Two, I love when I'm going to the gym and it's dripping all over my tank top because then my chest is all shiny and I like that. What else do you want from me? I don't want your product. And I said to him not to mention the fact that I have so much hair and low, por I mean, low porosity here. I need so much oil reinforced in order to get in the follicles. I can't use no pea-sized amount of beard oil. Like if you send me a sample with this length, it's probably gonna last me three or four um, applications because I have to put a lot. Okay, now I've had one before where it's a very thin oil and the pea size amount did do some trick But in order to get under all of this, I'm gonna need a lot So that's another thing I get annoyed. It's like every time I post on the groups and stuff people are getting in my inbox Yes, they are the ones that say, you know, there are a couple that want to know my routine I'm more than happy to direct them to my YouTube video. Not that I'm trying to increase viewership or am I? I don't know. But that was one of the reasons why I created my YouTube. So I could actually send instead of explain to everybody the long process of I'm growing and maintaining my beard. Um, but then you have, as I said, the people that are trying to tell me I'm doing something wrong, even though I have all of this stiff wear. Um, trying to tell me I'm doing something wrong and I need to use their products and their products are expensive and I'm like listen a jar of coconut oil is like less than twenty dollars and that lasts me two months regardless of the fact that I put a lot in there and you're selling me something for twelve dollars probably gonna last me a week let's face it you know so that's another thing another con of it is I remember back maybe two three years or maybe four um, beards were coming in, beards were a thing, now they're not necessarily a thing, and I've been rejected a couple times because I had a beard. It's kind of funny though, because when people reject me on a beard, it really doesn't bother me. I mean, I would be lying if I told you that it hurt me a little bit. That's the one thing that never hurts. When someone's like, I'm not into facial hair, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. This ain't going nowhere. Um, you also attract a lot of people that are into bad boys. Um, so sometimes I'll just say something to throw a monkey wrench in their plan or ideas. I'll be like, yeah, but you know, I wore makeup to my graduation. I wore, I wore foundation. And they'll be like, oh, okay. You know, so that's another thing. You attract the wrong people. Um, or if that's the kind of people you're trying to attract then i guess it's not a con but for me i'm not trying to attract nobody that wants a bad boy because i'm just a reflection of the society around me so <laughs> it's not that serious um let me think of another con um it's a lot of work it's a lot of work it's a lot of work it's so much work i can't i can't express it. it's a lot of work like pfft. I'm not even going to go into it. It is so much work. You can look back at one of my videos. I'll probably put the link below so it's easy access, but it's a lot of work. I mean, I have to go on this baby like twice a day to do things. Um, another uh, con of it, which can kind of be a pro, um, when I've dated people in the past, yeah, the evidence is always there because I shed like a MF. My bedroom, under my sheets, there's always long strands. In the bathroom, there's always long strands. In the, you do the carpet, there are long strands. I remember going to people's houses and they were like, yeah, I could tell you were here because um, your beard was basically everywhere, <laughs> you know? And that's just after a night or two. Um, another con is it can itch, <laughs> depending on what products you're using. Um, another con too is, you know, or, or hair goes through cycles. When you're in shedding cycle, it's everywhere. It's every damn where. And you feel like you're not going to have anything here left on your face. Um, but to me, that's about it when it comes to cons. Um, you know, let me know what your beard story is, why you chose to grow yours and your experience. Do you get frustrated sometime and want to just cut the whole thing off? Or do you feel like you're bearded for life? I'm bearded for life. I don't know about you, but all of this ain't going no. Uh, my memory ran out but yeah i'm saying bearded forever at least i guess until next time it's brave design 86 aka ken Moore.
See ya.